You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Uh, like most recent people who are missing, okay? Now, let's get into another kidnapping. Yes, I got to tell y'all about it because, you know, sex trafficking is real, baby. I don't care what they had said. I don't care what they had said. We already showed you there is a slew of hotels that are being sued already for allegedly their knowingly participation or a ignoring the uh sex trafficking that was going on in their hotels okay if you haven't seen that go back to our other videos now we're going to show you the proof okay ostitution related kidnap caught on camera at um harriet 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 isn't harriet hotel let's get to it this is out of control people ain't the devil is working he is working his magic okay let's let's put it big on the screen let's get myself on the screen i don't know what's going on here people this video from the lobby of a Henrietta Micro Hotel on Lehigh Station Road Wednesday shows a woman being ripped from the front desk by her hair and punched while being dragged through the entrance by a woman deputies identify as 27-year-old Shantiana Sims of Rochester. It's at the front doors where the video shows the victim is then picked up off the ground and carried outside by who deputies say is 27-year-old Cordell Brooks of Rochester. Oh the victim was, was being trafficked or, or prostituted by the two suspects. MCSO's Major Crimes Unit, along with its tactical team and the Rochester Police Department, searched several different addresses before finding the two suspects and the victim parked in a car on Joseph Avenue and Sullivan Street in the city just hours later. Who knows what would have happened, but for sure she would have been held there against her will for, for a longer period of time. Sims and Brooks now charged with second-degree kidnapping and second-degree assault, both felonies. As for the victim, she was sent to the hospital with what's being described as non-life-threatening injuries. Uh, our victim's advocate and our victim services people were sent to the hospital and are dealing with her now. Um, I think they've engaged outside services to, to try and help. MCSO says they're still investigating the incident to see if any more charges will be filed. What? Now to our other top story tonight, a disturbing kidnapping at a Henrietta hotel. All I'm saying is what? They're trying to figure out if charges are going to be pressed. Against who? The oh my god, let's listen to this door, and they just threw her into the back seat of the car. Those be filed now to our other top story tonight a disturbing kidnapping at a Henrietta hotel caught on camera. I look out the window and I saw that they were two people were dragging a girl out of the front door, and they just threw her into the back seat of the car. Those two suspects arrested after they were seen on video dragging that victim out of the hotel. Good evening to you. I'm Matt Malloy. The victim later rescued in the city of Rochester. 13 Wham's Carla Rogner has more on that investigation tonight. Carla, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Matt. According to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, the victim was being prostituted by the suspects. The video is disturbing, but authorities say it's important to see because it depicts the reality of sex trafficking. Thank you. It's a, it's a whole female. That's what I'm saying. Y'all need to be careful. Don't think that these girls your friends. Don't think that these girls your friend. These women talking about they're going to help you make some money. You better give it to God and get a job. Okay? They ain't nothing but the devil. This got me mad because it's women that's participating in this too. And uh, you may think that it's just men, but it's some dirty, rotten, scoundrel women. It took me a good few minutes to question whether or not if I, if I was actually dreaming when I saw that. Oh Jordan Burkett was sound asleep in his hotel room 
when he woke up to the sound of a woman screaming. I look out the window and I saw that they were two people were dragging a girl out of the front door and they just threw her into the back seat of the car. Concerned, he dialed 911. Security camera from the Microtel Inn shows what Burkett saw. A woman being dragged wow. from the front desk of the hotel and out the front doors by two suspects now identified as Cordell Brooks and Shuntiana Sims, both 27 years old and from Rochester. I'm going to stop showing that because it's making me mad. That is just, just violent. And please, people, do not hesitate. If you see something like this, that means that the woman need help. Pay attention to the aggressiveness of men and women that are coddling people because they may be sex trafficking. Sex trafficking don't only happen with women who wants to participate. It happens to women like what we just saw, okay? So, um, yeah, that made me feel some type of way, but we're going to keep you up to date about what's going on as far as that. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.